Okay, so currently in traffic with a brake that's locking up on me. Oh my god. And I've had to use the brakes like eight times. That's pretty good considering I'm in downtown Prince George. It's because I have a standard. But um, I, I had to stop at, at the, the Save On Foods because I have to pick up my medications. So I had to go to Napa and I got all the parts. I got enough shit to fix this. After I stop, the next time I drive this, it's gonna be gold, and I even got a one-man brake bleeder kit. So, for anybody that's interested, um, in the next few hours, I am gonna be live streaming the brake job on this thing. And, uh, while I'm doing it, I might not be available to take questions because I won't see the damn thing, but um, I'll try and stop periodically if anybody has any questions. And uh, I've never done brakes on a Ford, but it's fucking brakes, right? So I'm just going to go in here and I'm pick up my medications. Oh, and I stopped at Surplus Herbie's in Prince George, and I got myself... Uh, a piece of foam for a bed and a, a sleeping bag liner that we stretched it out and it looks like it's going to fit right over the foam. So the foam's a little long, I'll have to cut it. Yeah, whatever, it's going to work. And I'll have an extra block left over that I can, I don't know, make a pillow or something. But So um, what I'm probably going to do is find somewhere that I can boondock for the night and uh, Hopefully my brake doesn't completely seize. Like it's, I'm having some real issues. It's like really trying to push it. My poor clutch is probably thinking, what are you doing to me? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Wherever I end up, I'm gonna work it, on it in the parking lot tonight. And then I can bring my old calipers back for the core charge to Napa tomorrow. And let me tell you something. The Napa in Prince George, the one downtown on, I think it was 2nd or 3rd, 3rd maybe, 3rd Avenue. The Napa at Prince George, there's an old fella that works there. And we got to talking and he started telling me about his 1951 Chevy truck that he's working on. And then we started talking about this 84 Bronco and about rust and everything from old cars to modern politics and I'll tell you I felt so at home there and although I'm not gonna do it the, their parking lot looks ter terribly hot and there's no shade but they said you know if you really want you can just stay in the parking lot here and fix it we don't mind and I thought geez that is just some good old Canadian values right there and the, the situation came up because they said well don't try and work on your car in in the Canadian Tire parking lot because they'll call the cops on you for working on your own vehicle. And I thought, how can they call themselves Canadian anything if they'll call the cops on you for fixing your car? Like, what is with Canadian Tire anyway? Who does that? That is the dumbest policy I've ever heard of. So anyways, we're gonna give Canadian Tire the big and we're gonna give Napa Auto Parts downtown Prince George this one and this one. That old fella, he made my day. I would just love to see that guy somewhere and help him one day, whether he needs it or not. Like, good Canadian values. And we need more places and people like that that just good people. So with that, I'm going to go get my meds. I'm going to find a place for boondocking for the night. And I'm going to get my phone charged up and live stream doing the front brakes on the Bronklander. Haha! <laughs>